And Daniel Caesar said, get with the winning team, black people, we are the winning team. channel it's me forever essence and we are here today with a chit chat get ready with me but definitely a heavy Fenty beauty review because it's so many products I have I have my nails done I waited to do this video until I got them done so it can match my hair they're pink and purple I will have her tagged I really hope you like this makeup look I wanted it to match my new hair color I will have a video of how I got this color posted and installed but it's gonna be a lot of reviews it's gonna be some chit chat I'm sorry if I ramble this is my first chit chat so if you want to see how I got this look please keep on watching and yeah please like comment and subscribe share with all your people and yeah I told you I was coming with a makeup video and here it is so let me know how you like it let me know how I did and let's get into it I started to do it before camera this is amazing for one I've literally never tried this pencil it's my first time trying it have I'll post a better tutorial type of thing right now I'm just kind of doing my makeup and talking to you guys okay you know I did the um, try on haul my first try on haul and y'all know I'm new to YouTube so see, forever 21 hit me up and I mean verified and wanted me to do a haul for their women's day new women's day collection essence didn't see that offer until what four days later and women's day was like that next Tuesday I wasn't upset I even had a status up and I was just like you know I got the offer and from jump like I don't want to say I'm a native person, but I just always think of, okay, if you're not going to get something, don't let this determine, like, anything. Mm -hmm. Say this didn't come through. I don't want to be discouraged, like, oh, I'm not going to make any more fashion haul videos. But I just thought it was so dope that Forever 21 hit me up because that means you saw my haul video. And he was like, okay, this girl's dope. Let me do, let me hit her up and see if she'll do something for her clothes. I just thought that was amazing. So when they hit me up and I saw it, I was like, damn, I'm so late. It was in my message request. So I was like, dang, and I kind of figured it was too late, and it was. This brow pencil is definitely a 10 out of 10, for one. I'm going to try not to talk too damn much, so then I'm going to have to edit a lot. So yeah, that happened. That came and went. <laughs> oh, and it was another thing. It was another thing that happened, and I'm going to get to my point after I say these two. So then another thing for my wig page was that Natalie Nunn hit me up from the Bad Girls Club, and was like really interested in my wigs like she hit me up on like I really was talking to her like a regular client she was asking me so many questions and everything I guess she had already found someone to do the wigs and the installs and mind you I don't install wigs I only make wigs so she probably needed like the full package type of thing but again that was dope that she even found my page but this is where I'm getting to so I'm not going to do that anymore I'm not going to list or say out loud what might happen I'm only going to speak on what already has happened you know like I just feel like I kind of block my own blessings by speaking on it I don't know just take your time stop announcing everything that's like a big deal because it doesn't change anything I don't know I just really think I block my own blessings I'm talking too damn much and I'm not gonna do that shit no more I definitely want all the blessings that's coming my way I know I'm ready for it so I don't need validation from anybody else that's something we can talk about so I went to North Carolina A&T and I got all the way to my senior year and right now I mean yeah I could go back and I could finish my um, degree my get my degree and everything but it's just like I really don't know if I want to finish because before I used to seek validation from everyone like oh, how do you feel if I don't go back to school or how do you feel do you think I should finish whatever the case may be like I always catch myself doing that today I don't care because I'm following my dreams so like wherever my dreams take me cool but it's like I'm not trying to discourage anyone that's in college I went to school for psychology I'm not going to go get my master's. I'm not going to go to graduate school. I'm not doing the extra step that a lot of people do. And congrats to you if you do it. That's been very fucking good. I've never been a school person. I don't know. Like when I went to school, I didn't even know what my major was going to be. I started off as a um, biology major, bitch. And I knew I couldn't do that. Like 
Oh, it was so hard. It was so hard. And then my best friend was actually a biology major too. That's how I met her. She came to school with a whole plan. Like she knew what she wanted to do since day one. She knew what she wanted to be. She knew what she was working towards. So that's great. I was like, oh, well, I did a little um, project in high school. So maybe I want to be a pediatrician. Child, I don't even like math. I don't like science, a biology major. Because even psychology is still science but, and I'm not liking how it's blending. It's this single shadow by color pop. I feel like I'm all over the place but what I'm trying to say is college isn't for everyone. I think the experience was needed because I feel like so many kids at 18, even 17 years old were on their own. We had to figure out life people because you're not that little spoiled little bitch you were anymore in high school because you can't run to your parents about everything. It's like, no, this is the real world. If you don't do X, Y, and Z, such and such and such will happen or won't happen. You got to go get it for yourself, period. Auntie is like the party school. And yeah, we was lit. I learned a lot. I saw a lot. I saw a lot of things that just open my eyes because if you never see these things you're clueless like I just feel like you don't know what can actually happen you not you might just be walking around here and be not is it gullible like naive you just might not move right if you didn't go through shit you know what I'm saying like for example for example for example this boy this Jamaican that didn't even go to my school or none of that extra shit was grown like 30 years old um, I was sleeping in my room and this boy walks in my room and come in and locks the door behind him. And if it wasn't for me screaming for him to get the fuck out of my room, he, I don't know what he would have done. I was asleep when he walked in my room. I was knocked the fuck out. But that was a whole thing in itself. And when what he said to me was, he'd been seeing me around. And mind you, this is my freshman year. This is like first semester. First, yeah, this is first semester freshman year. Like, I haven't even been in school for long. I was a promoter. I was a club promoter and whatever. And I was going to the clubs all the time. Like, all. He was like, he'd been seeing me around in the parties and the clubs and all that. And he really liked me. He wanted to talk to me while coming in my fucking room and locking the door behind him. You want to tell me you've seen me around? Whatever. But that's rape as fuck. Like, <laughs> why the fuck is you walking my room, police, and everything? And we pulled up the cameras whole time. It was my first roommate because I did switch out from Morrison to Sweets E. If you went Sweets F, if you went Auntie, you know what I'm talking about. But literally, I went from like the hood side to the good side. Place. She was a Greensboro local. My first roommate actually set that whole thing up. Whenever I looked at the cameras when the police pulled it, you could see her in the lobby with that man and his friend that were both grown and you could see her pointing to my room. Of course he came and I guess she left the door a lot, whatever, whatever. So it's just like both of those instances, the fact that it was my roommate, my old roommate and the nigga that didn't even go to a &T, like both of those opened my little 18 year old eyes so fucking quick. Like you can't trust people. Even if you live with them, I never went anywhere else without a taser. I never went anywhere else without somebody with me. Because I was walking campus. I was doing anything by myself. I don't want to get too carried away talking because I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. This purple, I'm sorry. I took this purple and this one. I'm making a deeper crease with this one right now. Okay, y'all. I went and bought this. I bought this one for my last makeup video and didn't even end up posting that video. But I bought this one yesterday from Anastasia. First of all, this package. Do you see this package? Really? Are you serious? And then look at the color. It's so pretty. It's like spring is here. We ready, hoes. Are y'all ready? Yeah, my finger in this gold. This, because this gold is what sold me. And that's the sultry one if you want to see the insides. The package is super cute. I'm trying to, we need to hurry up so I need to kind of stop talking a bit. I dipped it in that purple.
that's where this comes in place. So I'm not going to be using the foundation, but I do have, like I said, a lot of the other stuff. I'm going to be doing the powder, the concealer, the matchstick, um, highlight, lip gloss. Yeah, basically a full face using Fenty Beauty Review. So let's just get started. I moisturized my face earlier. True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I'm going to be using the MAC NC45, so my face is pretty much prime. And I don't color correct, I could, I probably should, but I don't. Just put the foundation on the back of my hand, and then get the brush in. I love Pinty Beauty, I love Rihanna period, like I'm saying, and I really wanted her foundation to work. When I say it was like the exact color of my skin and um, neck, like everything, it was the perfect color. But I have really dry skin and even if I prime and stuff, it just was too dry, it's too matte. Matte is not for dry skin at all. But if you're oily, you will love her foundation because mm, it's like a flawless coverage, like it's beautiful. Now let's open the concealer. I'm gonna pack it like this. Color I'm using 330. This is the little bottle I'm opening. I've heard good things on this um, concealer. This is supposed to make up for her matte foundation. You know, dry skin people complain. So this is supposed to make up for it. But it's so, oh wow, well, yeah. <laughs> For one, you see I haven't even dipped this thing back in the container. That's a plus. Now this is one dip cover both under eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit more, so like full cool, cool coverage. But that covered up my whole entire thing. And yeah, I can tell it's super moisturizing. It's a lot coming out, so I'm kinda scrape it back in there. The color is beautiful for one. And this feel of this concealer is bomb. Like let the concealer sit a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out the chin. I wanna see how it does. I'm not even gonna lie. This blends out so amazing. Like, so amazing. It blends out so amazing. This beauty blender is really blending everything out so beautiful. I mean, this concealer itself is beautiful. Clean up your eye area. Make your eyeshadow sharp by doing that. Wow, it is not matte at all. It's lightweight, like I don't even feel like anything is on my face at all with this concealer, like at all. And the coverage is amazing. The blending is amazing. Rihanna honestly did that with this concealer. And yeah, this is now my everyday concealer. You definitely need this concealer. Now let's use the matchstick and truffle. And put a little bit, a little goes a long way. Now this is a little drying as well. That's why I don't really use it that much. But the color is still really pretty. Yeah, I don't be using this one that much. I just feel like it's not that moisturizing. So I just be kind of stuck on my face. Oh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm skipping a whole step. So we got the concealer up there. Now let's try her powder. So we got her powder and honey setting powder. Oh my god, this container is so pretty. All of her containers are pretty, honestly. Look at the diamond bomb. It's so pretty. Okay. Pro Filter Instant Retouch, Retouch Setting Powder. I hope it's not too dark. Let's put some out right here. Because I kind of like mine. I usually use the Laura Mercier. This is pretty dark. So I'm kind of scared. Here, oh no, when it's on your hand, it actually turns to like a, a banana color. So let's see. It definitely looks dark right there. It's putting powder in my face. It smells really good. Yeah, it's definitely putting color back in. Which is, I don't like color. I kind of like the brightening effect. I'm trying to see. Let's see how it turns out. 
Yeah, it definitely has color. I don't know if you can tell. But maybe that'll just kind of bring color back to my face. Or maybe I shouldn't pack it like that. It's not bad. It's just kind of colory. I'm not used to the color at all. I'm used to the Laura Mercier translucent. So it's usually white and I just kind of put color back in it and put my translucent powder on top of this to try to brighten it up. Oh, it's really soft too. It's really soft. It's lightweight. I'm going to put this under here. To brighten that back up. Yeah, we're all good. The powder, I'm going to go back and see if I can get in like a translucent or, yeah, translucent color, if they offer it. This is what I normally use, is just the Anastasia powder. It's better with just the sunlight and not my ring light, I think. Maybe let's try this out because I have a bomb camera and bomb lens. <laughs> Glow is more like a rose gold nudish pink color, but this one's like mauvey pink fussy. So yeah, that's perfect. Let's see what fussy talking about. But I don't like putting any lipstick or anything on without liner. This is Anastasia stripped liquid lipstick. This is my nutmeg, but it's soft spoken. Oh, by Nyx. This is my everyday lip. I love that. But we are going to put um, some of the fussy on top. Let's put uh, diamond ball on too.
chit chat stop, but pretty much, long story short, don't wait for what you want to do. But, and if it's something holding you back, like with school for me, I just don't think I'm pursuing. I might, I don't know yet. Just my mind right now is like, I don't think I'm gonna go back to school. Um, but it's okay, like it's not in the world. Whatever you think is for you right now, or what you think might be your job for the rest of your, your life, it might not be it. You might stumble across something that you have a passion for, that you really enjoy doing, and that might be your money maker. It's people on YouTube that get paid more on YouTube than they would have in their degree and stuff like that, you know? So it's just like, do what's best for you. And Daniel Caesar said, get with the winning team. Black people, we are the winning team. And Fenty Beauty is definitely that girl. Is this something I didn't use from them? No, I used all of their, all of their stuff. So yeah.